Today's video is dedicated to another Robert Mitchum movie who, as you can tell, is winning in this Noir Vember challenge. The film noir we're going to talk about today was also released in 1947, like Out of the Past, but with a much different treatment and backstory. I'm talking about the movie Crossfire, produced by RKO and directed by Edward Dimitrik. Stars like Robert Young, Robert Mitchum, and Robert Ryan, and one of the best casts we have ever used in a film, including Gloria Graham, Paul Kelly, Sam Levine, Jacqueline White, and two new boys, George Cooper and William Phipps. You know, you're just a bunch of hick cops down here anyway. You won't pin anything on Mitch, not in a hundred years. Essentially, Crossfire is a mixture of a detective story and a film noir with a very powerful message at its core, something that wasn't that usual or very frequent. This movie could also be dubbed as the tale of the three Roberts because it stars not only Robert Mitchum but Robert Ryan and Robert Young. All three of them at top billing, even though this is a quite modest production of RKO, shot in 22 days, which became a great critical and also box office success, being nominated that year for Best Picture, Best Screenplay, Best Actor for Robert Ryan, Best Supporting Actress for Gloria Graham, and Best Director. A movie that is deeply marked by blacklisting, as we will talk about later, but that is also a first-rate story, superbly acted, constructed, photographed, and written. The movie starts with a man being beaten and killed in his apartment by what we perceive as a soldier. The identity is at first unclear, but we'll soon enough find out who is the perpetrator. The body is found by the police and Detective Finlay, played by Robert Young, is assigned to the case. He starts questioning the late man's girlfriend when soldier Montgomery, played by Robert Ryan, knocks on the door. He's been there before with another man and another soldier named Mitchell who has disappeared and appears to be the primary suspect. Or is he? Sergeant Keeley, played by Robert Mitchum, is also trying to find Mitchell and then he's questioned by Finlay. The two men get along and they slowly realize what's behind that killing, the real motives for the crime and subsequently who is the killer. From that moment on, it's just a matter of unmasking and capturing the killer. And that's essentially the premise for Crossfire, which was a quite risky and controversial production of RKO by Dorshari, who was head producer at that time at RKO and also Adrian Scott. Ladies and gentlemen of the motion picture going public, I want to tell you about a film we've just completed called Crossfire which will be in this theater very soon. On February 13th, 1947, the final script of Crossfire was mimeographed and distributed to executives and department heads. At this time, a date for start of production is usually set up, but in the case of Crossfire, final decision was postponed. This script dealt with a subject that alarmed some people at the studio. The movie is based on a novel by Richard Brooks called The Brick Pox Hole. Richard Brooks, as many of you would know, was a superb writer who also transitioned into filmmaking. He directed movies like The Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, Lord Jim, or In Cold Blood. As a writer, he wrote the screenplay for K Largo or Brute Force. In the original novel that Richard Brooks wrote, the motives for the crime were homophobic but in those days it was impossible to talk about that in a movie so the reason was then changed to anti-semitism and that was the first time that that issue was ever exposed in a movie in fact it has also been viewed afterwards as also a reflection on what went on those days with blacklisting that was taken Hollywood and the whole country by storm. The movie, I think, 
also depicts quite vividly the reality that soldiers faced when they returned home after World War II. You can see soldiers here I'd say also in a different light than your normal war movies at that time. You see them broken, uprooted, very much distanced from their spouses and really unable to get back to a normal kind of life. Aside from that heavy moral component and a wish to talk about tolerance and convey a strong message about how ideas and blind hate is similar to carrying a loaded gun that can go off at any point. This movie also has a brilliantly constructed detective plot that is eminently to a film noir that was all thanks to veteran cinematographer John Roy Hunt who was almost at the end of his career having started working in 1916 who was a quite effective and fast director of photography allowing this production again to be shot in a little over 20 days which is incredible you'll see that throughout the movie most of the characters are lit from below and it gives a quite disturbing atmosphere which i think is brilliant it has again a very thrilling story and very well constructed characters it is quite impossible to get past robert ryan's performance here and not notice how brilliant he is this movie in fact launched his career which was again a big risk for him but it paid off but also i think robert mitchum and robert young equally superb performances. Edward Dimitrik too, alongside Adrian Scott, the producer, are responsible for making this movie what it is. They had already collaborated in two movies before, one being Murder My Sweet and the other Coroner, both starring Dick Powell. This Canadian-born director Dimitrik and also Adrian Scott became known because they were the Hollywood 10 who were members of the Hollywood film industry who refused to testify initially to the House of Un-American Activities Committee and were subsequently fired from the studios they were working at, received jail sentences and then were banned from working. But there is so much more to that scenario than what I can cover in today's video. But in any case, this is a brilliant movie that I really encourage you to see with terrific performances, an obsessive atmosphere and also yet again a message that still resonates today so that's all i have for you for today's video i hope yet again that you enjoyed it that you find it interesting it would be great to know your thoughts on this movie and who is your favorite robert thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me today for this november challenge thank you so much for sharing the love for classic movies stay safe Take care and see you all tomorrow with another video. Bye!